That's it, you read it right, guys. She's got to go. The van, not me. So how's your January been? Because ours started with a really lovely band, didn't it? It did. We had friends over for New Year's Eve. Just a small group of friends, and it was just wonderful. None of your big parties. Nope. It's not like that anymore, is it? <laughs> no, we're old. We had pizza delivered and yes. just hung out. We hung out with Tash and John um, and the girls, and we had a great New Year's Eve. <laughs> the girls. The girls. They know who the girls are. Come on. <laughs> Emily. and Emily. Yes. <laughs> Uh, then we went off for our first weekend away in the van. So there's our van there, but you'll also see we've got Dazza, John and Tash, and the girls shoehorned in on the drive. So a tight one for us there. The neighbours are probably hating us. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to head out now and uh, head to a field for a few days. It is the 1st of January and we are heading out on our first trip of the year. We've got a couple of jobs to do before we get on the road properly and the first is fuel. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we also need some gas. Quick top up with gas before we go. We've got refillable gas bottles in here and it's I think it's 66p a litre, so much cheaper than your calor. Well, that was empty. We've got 44 litres, 30 quid. So it's actually 68, 90 a litre. So a lot cheaper than your Calagas, that's for sure. Not use hot water, Des? No, I'm washing up naked. Oh, well, look, there's a new one for me. Yeah. All right. Christ, like and subscribe <laughs> to him over here, look. She's learning. Huh? Every, every day's a school day. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the, the toolbox that's saved you around Europe, is it? This is the Can Provide Emergency Tool Kit. Lovely, yeah. like that. She's going to have to lube up the ends. <laughs> <laughs> Got to push it in a tight hole. If you need lube, This is a family it. channel. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about the barbecue Oh, sorry, beans. sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> These lot are having way too much fun over here. You're beating a nine-year-old up, are you, yeah, Charlie? Yeah, do like a big... Oh! What happened? Oh, he's a nine-year-old. Come on, has that. Damn the drink, Dan. It's a rare one. Yeah, I'm a little, a little tropical cider. Good boy. that might already be a highlight of 2022 for me it was such a lovely yeah. couple of days um it was quite small not lots of people we cooked together we, we chatted went down the pub as well we went yeah. down the pub <laughs> went to pub went to pub had a game pool yeah and uh yeah and lou beat the boys at pool <laughs> to be fair lou would beat the boys at most things <laughs> yeah. so after a fab weekend with friends we're driving back from the meet and we had the idea to sell the motorhome. <laughs> of course we did. It's like when you get back from your first trip in the van, Right. you're planning your next upgrade on, you're planning your next trip. It's that. It's we that just thing. had one of those moments. 2022 is going to be a big year. A huge year. Absolutely. Yeah. So we got back. Um, I The MOT was nearly due on the van. So I put the van in for the MOT yeah. whilst it was out and about. I took it into work. Sailed through, obviously. Absolutely sailed through the MOT. Yeah. Um, took the van into work and I had the guys strip the graphics off. The Roman Radford's graphics. So it is now bare. They're off. Yeah. Also, all the stickers we'd collected on the door over the last few years. I was just going to say, that was really quite emotional taking those off. <laughs> it, it, was, it was. It was. It was. <laughs> so we're going to need your stickers for the new van, guys. Yes, please. Oh, I might do what Tash does. She's so clever. Tash from Life Beyond Bricks has got a scrapbook. So she gets two stickers from everyone. Yes. One for the door 
and one for her scrapbook. So she's always got them. I think that's a really clever idea. Maybe I'll do that. Absolutely. And don't forget to ask us for our stickers if you see us out and about. We've generally got some with us. Yeah. So we spent a lot of this month cleaning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It sounds like a lot, but um, no, I've spent a lot of time. It, there's a lot in here. We've been emptying. Emptying been... your motorhome. How many of you have upgraded your motorhome and had to empty the old one? How much have we been driving around in? Yeah. How much have we been carrying around um, around Europe? We've already done a massive amount of emptying of the van, <laughs> but I'd forgotten to do these two chairs. And these are the ones that are filled with the kids um, that's why because it's not my stuff but all the kids toys and the beach things and the beach shoes and the big banana things we've got have you got bananas you know those big you catch the air in them and they're like loungers that fit in something as little as that they're quite amusing you should watch people who are <laughs> trying to inflate them for the first time that's good fun on the beach I think we've probably been carrying these around Europe for about four years and every year we forget to get them out to play with Oops. <laughs> I wonder if that's Spanish or Portuguese sand that I've just dropped everywhere. I can tell. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Can't get out. <laughs> that we just use those um, cupboards as like a dumping ground for the kids' stuff. This isn't all of it. <laughs> There's toys here from when George was tiny all the way through. I think uh, we need a proper sort before we refill the new van. So we, we have spent a few days emptying, cleaning and sorting the motorhome and fixing any little bits that needed fixing. Yeah, so. and we've started bringing things back that we'd taken out of. So when you travel with a family, maybe carpet isn't the one. So the carpets we've brought back in and I found some cushions that I'd completely forgotten about. When I saw them in the um, in the storage, I was just like, where on right. earth do they go? Isn't it? And have a look at the carpets as well. Because we've never used them. We haven't. And the carpets look fantastic. I've got my Lello <laughs> siders on. <laughs> <laughs> but there it is. We um, we always strip the carpets out straight away because of the boys. Yeah. So, yeah, this thing's looking like new again. Mm, nice and cosy. Dash cam, a few cables left, and this place is stripped and nearly ready to sell. I have been enjoying the walks to school with George in the morning. They are lovely to be back that again. Nice brisk walk in the morning, um, nice and fresh. And then I go and pick him up in the afternoon, of course. So enjoying my, getting back to my walks. Um, also, George hit 100 subscribers on his channel on YouTube. And so thank you, guys. Some of you would have gone and subscribed to George. Um, and also, we made him a silver play button, and he was absolutely chuffed with that. And we made a little video on his channel about that. So... If you've got a minute, head on over. It's only a few minutes long and it really is lovely. <laughs> <laughs> you might recognise this area of the van. This is where we sit to do the conversations with. Yeah. This is the first vlog that we've done this year because the kids are back in school. Yeah. We're selling the van, so it's got to be pristine. And uh, we're just not travelling. So we haven't got as much to share. But we are loving doing the conversations with. Right. So we kicked it off with the weirdos. Those weirdos, yeah. we recorded that when they stayed on our driveway last summer. Yeah, we've hung, on, we've hung on to that since the summer. And it was the first one-to-one. -one. They were actually sat in the van with us. So yeah. um, if you haven't seen that one, go over and have a look at that one. Yeah, that was nice to get to know friends properly, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then the next conversations we did was with Neil and Emma. And I know from the comments, you guys really enjoyed that one. It was a lot of fun to do that one. Bloody Roman Radford. <laughs> They'll shoot you if you try and break in. I'm not really a very serious person. We were the kings at wild camping on campsite. I'm just here for the rise. Nobody takes scouts as serious. <laughs> do you know who we are? We are YouTubers. Do-do. Do-do. do 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 Sorry about me. That's all right. I, I will be editing this, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going out as is. I'd have hoped so. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks to Neil and Emma for doing that conversation. So much fun. Yeah, we love the conversations because we can either show you more of people that we already know and love and help you get to know them a bit better or we can bring you someone completely different. And that's what I loved about our conversation yeah. with Ben and Rebecca from Outliers Overland. So we took our camper through New York City. Spent the night two blocks from Times Square. Yeah. Fantastic. So much fun. How did that? I want to hear all about that. <laughs> the idea Open that we land. drove to the Arctic Ocean. We just keep up in the ante on adventures. We actually have to be somewhere. <laughs> what the hell did we sign up for? There is no end date. This is life. Make no plans, change no plans. <laughs> 
Oh my God, they have travelled the world already and they've just hit Europe and they're going to keep going. Yeah, if you haven't seen that one, it's, uh, it's an American couple. They've got a big overland and they've been travelling in the States in it for four years and they've now shipped it into Europe where they're continuing their tour around the world. Yeah. So um, some great content on their channel and some good exciting stuff to come, I think. These guys are pro travellers. They're, they're from Alaska, so they're used to sub-zero. Mm, right temperatures but they've been everywhere and, and they're, they're really good fun they're couple, a real good they? fun couple so maybe head on over and have a look at them yeah also we had our 17th wedding anniversary this month guys I don't know if you caught some of that on Instagram. Um, if you're not following us on Instagram, maybe head over and, and uh, follow us on Instagram where we'll put more regular updates. Yeah, we've got to up our Instagram game, I we think. We have, yes. Gosh, I think we're too old. Anyway. <laughs> no. And Facebook as well. We're, yeah. we, we do a lot on Facebook. <laughs> we're more the Facebook era, yeah, aren't but we? But if you want to keep up with what we're doing in real time, those, those are the places to go yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah, 17 uh, years. 17 years. Here's to <laughs> another 17. Who needs the medal? Which one of us? Well, Me. <laughs> it's easy. Uh, we then had the wheelies came over, yes. didn't we? The wheelies came over to get some graphics. They came over to work to get some graphics put on their van. So we popped over to see them when they were here. Yep. And then um, yesterday we had Phil and uh, Bruce come to help take the lithium batteries out of the van and to take our big inverter out of the van and put some new batteries in for the next owner. Um, Brand new batteries. Yes. Yeah. And um, put the electrical system back to ready to go because we did a, quite a few upgrades on this van and we're going to do quite a few upgrades on the next van as well. So It's going to be expensive. Yeah. Now it's time to get it ready for up for sale, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Time to do it. And look who we got on the driveway, guys. Oh, yes. <laughs> Lindsay's been feeding him well, hasn't she? Can't get rid of me that easy. <laughs> <laughs> Where there's food, there's our Dazza. Yes, oh. there is. So, and he's here this weekend in Milton Keynes doing a vlog. So keep an eye on his channel, guys. Yeah, they're, they're few and far between, but one's coming. One's coming. <laughs> a fresh new one. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you're not subscribed, head on over and subscribe to our Dazza. All right, the Urban Motorhome. Cheers, guys. We got this van in... 2018 mm. we got this van and th that year we went down <coughs> Italy and across to Greece and up uh, Albania Montenegro Croatia this was the van we'd always wanted and we yeah. couldn't afford and we could definitely couldn't afford it brand new and when our niece from Australia was came right. over we we realized that the five berth five traveling seats that we had in the old van wouldn't be enough because we wanted to take her and show her Europe, obviously. Right. Um, so literally, we invited her and then we sold the old van yeah. and bought this van to do that. <laughs> yeah, we did the invitation first and then went, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we found this van and it's it's, it's been, been brilliant, perfect for, for the way we want to travel yes. as a family. It's yeah, and if you don't know, what works for us is um, we've got six belted seats here yeah. and the dinette area and we've got a rear lounge. Yeah. Um, that's where me and Lynn sleep and the boys sleep up top and George sleeps just down here. So this is a layout that's worked for us um, up to now. Well, For so many years. For so many years. Even previous vans we've had a very, very similar layout. Rear lounge. Yeah. 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 So many boys. You need some distance just for the feet smell, I think. I think it's time to look at some different motorhomes and different layouts. So Surely. Yeah. So maybe on the next vlog... We'll go along and have a look at some different layouts and see if any of them work for us. Yeah. Open-minded. I'm going to be open-minded. Keep open-minded. Ready for change. Right. Stratford show, guys. Best show last year was, was the International Camper Van and the Adventure Overland Show. Said it right first time. I don't know. Is it not? Adventure Overland and International Camper Van no, Show. No, it's definitely the other way around. <laughs> Some of you guys might have seen that was our favourite show of last year. There was, oh. It's an early summer edition, there's a late summer edition, and both of them were fantastic. Well, it's on again this year. It's on early June, um, and we're going to be there. We're yes. going to be in the YouTube area if you guys want to come along and meet and get some stickers. But best of all, we've got a 10% discount code for you. So for all tickets for the show. So um, there'll be a link in the description. Um, I'll probably put the code on the screen now. Head on over, buy your tickets, and hopefully we'll see you there. Yeah, I can't wait. All right, we'll see you on the next one, guys. See ya.